Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of John Amell's Archives on YouTube. Now, I guess for the first time in John Amell's YouTube career, it's going to be crow eating time. And I'm not doing this because to appease anybody. I'm not doing this, you know, to show that, yeah, I eat crow. The fact of the matter is, um, since the 2000s, the Philadelphia Eagles have thoroughly dominated the Dallas Cowboys. And until this past Sunday, I didn't have a reason to give them any props in the world. Um, including the first game of the season, which I still adamantly stand by that the Eagles got robbed. But, that being said, John Amell is going to take an unprecedented turn in history right now. And I would like to congratulate the Dallas Cowboys and their fans on defeating us twice this season and taking the NFC East division title. It pains me to say this, as you all know, uh, because since I've been out here on YouTube, I think I started this in, what, 05, 06, something like that, I really haven't had a reason to congratulate the Dallas Cowboys for anything because we've dominated them time and time again. But last Sunday was a different, was a different story, man, and, and, you know, I got nothing to say as far as that game goes. The, uh, we were outplayed, and that Sunday the better team won. Now, that being said... I don't think the Dallas Cowboys are the better football team. Um, and I think it's going to be very difficult for them to beat us three different games this season. Um, the thing that I'm really upset about this week, as far as, as last Sunday goes, it's not necessarily losing to the Dallas Cowboys. Don't get me wrong. You guys are my rivals. I hate you guys. I hate your fans. It's not about losing to the Dallas Cowboys, though. For me, it was about the Eagles having the number two seed to fight for and not coming through. And that's become a almost uh, an automatic, like a standard for the Eagles year in, year out. You know, I look back at last year against the uh, Arizona Cardinals. We should have won that game. I look at the 2004 Super Bowl, we should have won that game. We were the better team against the Patriots. I look at the 2002 and 2003 NFC Championships against the Bucks and the uh, Carolina Panthers. We were favored in both of those games. We should have won both of those games. Maybe not the game against the Rams in 01. You know, it's like we have great years every year. You know, this was another great year, 11-5. and five. We scored 400 offensive points. But as soon as that game comes on the line that you got to win, and ladies and gentlemen, if we beat the Cowboys last week and we locked up the number two seed, we're in the Super Bowl all day. There's no way any team this late in the season, the Saints, the Vikings, the Cowboys, the Cardinals, or the Packers are coming into Philadelphia in January and beating us. But it didn't happen. It's like now... I think we'll beat the Dallas Cowboys next week. I think it'll be a close game. But realistically, are we really going to go on the road and beat the Saints and then go on the road again and beat the Packers or beat the Vikings or beat whoever we have to beat? Yes, we could do it. We've proved before that we could do it. But my thing is, is like, why does the Philadelphia Eagles make life so much harder for themselves than it needs to be? When you have this golden opportunity, man, it's almost like I feel like I should be on the football field because I feel like I have more fire, more more power, more you know, um, in, in, in intensity than these guys do. I mean, here we are battling for the NFC East crown, and these guys are are are, are playing substandard football, man. I mean, you know, they're not tackling. They're dropping balls. Deshaun Jackson, Jeremy Macklin. I mean, ball after ball they're dropping, man. They can't put the ball in the end zone. And, yeah, you know, our 44-6 our forty-four to six victory last year, you know, you Dallas Cowboys got us back this year, man. 24 nothing, and it hurts. So, you know, I'm not the, the, the big non-crow-eating asshole that I've been made out to be the last few years. I'm just I'm just observing football for what it is. 
And since 2005, 2006, there has been absolutely no reason to congratulate Dallas Cowboys and their fans because they've sucked. That being said, this Sunday was a different story. So congratulations again to the Dallas Cowboy fans for taking the division and sweeping us this year. Um, I'm, I'm still flabbergasted and shocked about it. Um, you know, I now you got to do you got you guys all the pressures on you guys because you guys got to step up and win a playoff game. Again, I think the Eagles will win a very close game next week. You notice I'm saying close game. Two weeks ago, I was saying we were going to blow you guys out, so you, you should be very thankful for that. But I'm giving you guys props. Looks like you're you know you guys are a good football team. I don't think you're better than the Eagles. So, you know, this Sunday. Uh, I'm sorry, this Saturday, we need to step it up. Deshaun Jackson needs to make a presence. Donovan McNabb needs to make a leader. We need to score on all opportunities, field goal or touchdowns. We can't come out of the red zone with no points, and that's it. So I'm looking forward to the game. It should be a good game. Uh, Dallas Cowboys, I'm still thinking you guys are going to lose, and if you do lose, believe me, I'm coming back at you strong next week. But I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait until next week supposing the eagles beat you guys this sunday and then john ammo took the chicken shit way out and made a video next week and was like ha 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 we got the last laugh i didn't want to do that i wanted to come out here before the game i wanted to uh give you guys the props that you guys deserve because you finally deserve a little bit of props and i think that you guys should recognizing that i did this should give me props back this is john ammo this is the archives philadelphia eagle fans it's not panic time, but we, 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 we made life a lot a lot more difficult for ourselves. You know, when when a present is presented to you, gift wrapped with a little bow on top, you take the present, you rip it open with your teeth if you have to, and we didn't do that. So big game this Sunday. I'll predict the Eagles by a touchdown. Uh, if not, I'll come out the next week and I'll give you guys props again. But if we do win, I'm coming back at you guys hard as hell next week. And telling you guys that now it's 13 years that you haven't won a playoff game. John Amel, the Arcos is is out.